divorce, you got to surrender to my will. You can't divorce something and not know that something better is coming. And you got to be. Good morning, guys. How are you doing this morning? Did you sleep well? Did you? How you feeling? What's today? Day nine? Dang. We almost across that border. Are you feeling a little renewed? How's your mind? How's your body? To be completely transparent, yesterday I was like, I don't know what's going on, but I just was regular food. You know what I'm saying? Like I just wanted some I just wanted some food. I'm not even gonna lie, but I'm like no. Cause my hunger is more hungry for being closer to God. You know what I'm saying? So God wanted me to remind you again, like it's not he doesn't want you to be so caught up into your diet. Cause you know you know what's funny about the whole Daniel fast, right? Daniel prayed on day one. His answers to that prayer was released on day one but he took more days to pray about the same thing and that's what we tend to do because we don't see it as fast as we want it to we don't you know what i'm saying like we don't trust the process we don't get that in the spiritual realm if it's related to god's purpose and his plans that he has instored in you then it's already released but see we too impatient we want it now i want it now microwavable world right fast food world right i want everything quick you know what i'm saying not realizing that in the process in the progression of it you are being delivered from things to be able to receive what you're asking for you know what i'm saying like you might want the right thing but the posture of your heart is in the correct in incorrect spot it's not in the right order it's not for the right intent so god has to prepare you and get you ready right um and then that okay so i'm gonna i'm gonna just say for example for me personally you know i've always wanted to be a wife but my thought process and what i thought a wife and a husband and relationship looked like was very worldly was very culturally it was not of god and in the time of the separation of my old self into my new self He's revealed a lot of things that I didn't realize were hindering me, that was holding on to me. So the word of today, right? He gave me two words. It was crazy, right? Because I'm thinking, I was thinking, okay, you giving me already for tomorrow? I'm like, okay, because I'm like, okay, we got, we got um, release, okay, all right. Then he said divorce, because in the dream, I had so many different, I'm like, that's not me though, God. He said, that ain't you no more, but you still holding on to that thought process. You still holding on to who you thought you was. You still holding on to that girl. You got to let her go. She's not existing anymore. You still holding on to old patterns and old behaviors. You got to release that. You get what I'm saying? You got to divorce that. You got to say, I am now divorced from the old ways. So everything, and, and, and this, this is the problem with us because we have... We have the past that's just right here. And then the enemy will come in and make sure it's right here. So now we just focus, like, keep looking back, keep looking back, keep looking back. Got to look forward. Straight forward. Why you think the mirror, mirror in the car? Why is it so small? Because it's only there to see the necessary things that you need to. You don't need the biggest view. That's why you got the window in the front. So you can see the future. So you can see in front of you. You get what I'm saying? All right, now, you got to divorce. You got to divorce your old habits, your old mindset. You got to divorce. You got to say in, in that journal that I'm telling you all to write, you got to say, I am now divorced from. I am now divorced from sexual immorality. I am now divorced from my own past. I am now divorced of fear. I am now divorced of of not knowing if my child is going to be on the right path i am now divorced knowing if my husband is going to come back home i am now divorced from the alcohol i am now divorced from the smoking i'm now divorced from all of those things that's hindering you 
You gotta divorce them. You gotta divorce them. Oh, I thought that relationships were supposed to look like divorce that. Divorce it. It's not existed. It's not existent. It happened, but it's not existent. It doesn't exist right now in the future. Now, I'm like, God. So he gave me another word. So I'm like, hold up. Is that for tomorrow? <laughs> God said no. It's for today. Because when you divorce, you have to surrender. I said, hold up, wait a minute. So today, we got two words. He said, yeah, today is day nine. We got two things. Because in order for you to divorce, you got to surrender to my will. You can't divorce something and not know that something better is coming. And you gotta, in order for you to surrender, you got to divorce your past ways that go two in hand. Okay? Both of them. Hand in hand. You got to surrender to God's will and promises. You have to release that control. So he said, he said, I'm giving you this because it's in this order. It's in this order. Friday, release. Saturday, Sunday, divorce and surrender. He said, because in order to marry me, to marry, to commit to what we're getting ready to walk through, I need you to divorce your old habits and I need you to surrender. The release part was for us. We needed to let go. But see, and sometimes even when we let go, we still holding on to that. It's still in the back of our mind. It's still there. He said, no, baby, I don't need that no more. You're not not her you're not him it doesn't matter if you was in a strip club all the time it doesn't matter if you was at the bar all the time it doesn't matter if you was having sex with such and such and such and such and such and such i don't care about that no more i was there when you did it i know why you did it i seen that hurt i seen that pain i understand it i was just waiting for you to come on and surrender to my will you got to get to the point where you just so tired of being unfulfilled or you're never going to be perfect so let let that go release that thought you get what i'm saying release that divorce that it's no such thing as perfection no such thing but let me tell you this right now and i'm sorry y'all because i know i lose be talking low but i get passionate because this this resonates with me too it resonates with me too i just told you i had dreams and i'm like uh, i don't feel like that no more he said but you still think like that sometimes. So today, write down I divorce, whatever it is. And then I need you when you worship. He needs you when you worship. We need you when you surrender, 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 surrender. Like I said, if you tired of carrying all that weight, if you tired of living in the past, if you tired and you worried about the future. If you feeling like there's something inside you telling you that this is the wrong life, that this is not the right life, that you're feeling incomplete, that every time you turn around, you're trying to, you know, fulfill yourself with something physical. And for some reason, you're not getting fulfilled. For some reason, that cup is still empty. No matter how many sneakers you got, no matter how many clothes you got, how many bags you got? How many hairstyles you change your hair to? How many different cars you go get? How many different girls you get? How many different guys you get? If you still feeling like this empty part and you not feeling content, it's because, baby, you living the life the way the world sees it and the way you think it should go. When you surrender the will to God, the will of his life, don't don't mind that, y'all. I wasn't about to hit nobody. But when you surrender the will, your his will on your life, you don't worry about the physical no more. Everything is like, okay, I don't need to smoke. I don't need to drink. I don't need to have sex with such and such. I don't, I don't even need to drive this car. I don't even need to live in this house. And he'll do it gradually, time after time. And trust and believe, just because you turn yourself to Jesus don't mean all of a sudden you get blessed just 
material wise because he still got to work some things out there there's still some heart posture issues but then also too once you start to walk with him and you trust him he start to bless you and it do become physical but most importantly you don't care about that no more you don't care about the material things and then you learn how to be a better version of yourself not only for yourself but for others because we are influenced by one another we do rub off on one another and then you learn how to show people what love looks like and that's what the world is missing today it's true love not the identification of what we think it is because everybody's perception everybody's opinion understanding to it is way different that's why you can't go to them you got to go to god but all right, so we got released yesterday, we got divorced, or we got surrendered today. Go out there, do what you got to do, be who you need to be, and know that God loves you, he hears you, he sees you, and he's so proud of you.